Hey everybody, do you want to learn how to install crown with lights? I'm going to show you how, coming up. Once we have our measurements, now we're going to cut our crown. And if you don't know how to cut crown, I'm going to try to link a video uh, above and it's uh, how to cut crown. So let's do that. Here's where you need to know a few things. We know the crown we're putting up is a 3852. So that means that the side that is touching the wall, this is how it goes, this is 38 degrees from the wall. So that's, you only need to know that when you go to cutting. Now what you need to do is take your handy dandy framing square and you wanna line him up just like a corner. See here, this is flush here, it's flush here. This, there we go. Okay, and that is two and a quarter and an inch and five eighths. The inch and five eighths doesn't really matter here. The two and a quarter is what matters. So we know we need to cut a block at a 38 degree because we're putting, since we're putting that uh, LED strip behind it, we need a block. This is a 38 degree and this is a right angle here, 90 degree, 38. And the way it'll work is, here's our crown sitting on our wall, right? We're gonna take our little block and he's gonna sit just like that right there. Then once you have him up here, from your crown, you gotta imagine your wall sitting here. You know, I mean your ceiling sitting here. And you want to leave a gap for our light to shine through. So we're going to, I want a quarter inch gap. I've got half inch is the my light strip width and it'll go right in the corner. So this guy right here needs to be a quarter inch less than See, we're, we're pretty much flush, well, yeah, we're flush here. So it needs to be a quarter inch under. And for me, that will make him an uh, inch and a half. He will be an inch and a half on my 90 degree side. So you need to cut out a bunch of these. So let's do that. Since I have a lot of these to make, I'm going to just rip down a couple of two by fours at 38 degrees. And once those are cut, now the width of them doesn't really matter. So we're just gonna cut them down um, about, about an inch and a half each, give or take. I want something wide enough I can get a couple of nails in it. First thing you wanna figure out when you get inside is power. I am actually coming through, cause this was a pre-thought thing. Uh, I'm coming through the uh, ceiling, I have an electrical box and an outlet mounted up there with this plugged into, so you need to decide that first. Once you have that decided, you wanna to try to start on one end of your crown, you know, it goes around the room. This is a, an end point, I'll have a return here. So, what I'm using is uh, uh, picture frame push pins. You know, this is a staple gun and it, the, the pins come out this way. It's not actually staples, it's pins for like a picture frame that, you know, you fold under to hold your thing. I did some picture framing in my earlier years, so I own one of these. If not, you could do the pill and stick uh, LEDs if that's what you have. You could super glue it. If you could find a staple gun that would work, you could use a staple gun. But So what I'm gonna do is take my LED light strip and you want to put it so it's a half inch by about eh, maybe three sixteenths and eighth because mine has that outer coating. You want to, the half inch this way, not this way, because you want your light, your LEDs to be facing out towards your ceiling. So I'm going to do that real quick. Once we have those up, we're going to take our little blocks and you're going to slide them up to where this is your um, LED strip. So slide them up to it, nail through them here. And you want to do about every 16 inches. And that's not an exact, you know, if you're a shade off, that's, that's not a big deal, but you want to stay around every 16 inches. So I'm going to do that. So we went through, put all our little blocks, and all that's left is hang our crown. So I'm going to do that. Now one thing you may want to do is take a pencil and go through, and just mark each of those blocks just to make sure you're hitting them. And make sure <clears throat> when you're nailing them, that you're nailing them straight in and not at an angle because you don't want to shoot through and hit your uh, LED strip. So 
So there you go. A, that's how you install Crown. B, that's how you install Crown with lights behind it. So just so you can see the finished product, I had to put a towel over this to try to uh, block some of the light. Check this out. Let's see here. There we go. I'm gonna do colors. Like so, and then we can even, I think we can do some of this fancy stuff if you wanna get down when you're in the bathroom. Let's see here. Look at that, yeah. All right. Let's see if we can just get back to normal white here. So there you go. That is how you install Crown with a light strip. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep making dust.